Usually in this channel I talk about fan works, projects made by fans based on Toho. And hey, one of those might have been how you found the series in the first place and that's great, I'm glad it got your attention. But what if you wanna get into the actual Toho project itself and really sink your teeth into the world that inspired it all? Toho started as a series of games by Junya Ota, most commonly known as Soon, with the first title released in 1997 and still going strong to this day. By now, it's pretty much become a multimedia project, not only involving video games, but books, manga, music CDs, there's a lot to it and it can seem a bit overwhelming at first. I mean, I know it was for me and there was even less stuff back then. So what's the best place to start from today? Anywhere. That's the short answer. I feel the best way is just to start with whatever appeals to you the most and let one thing take you to the other in a natural way, so I encourage that first and foremost. However, making that first choice can prove to be a bit difficult with so much stuff around, so in this video I want to try to narrow it down a bit with my recommendations along a few guidelines, hopefully in a simple and concise manner. The mainland games are something you'll eventually gonna go through, and they are really the meat of the Toho experience. This is where most of the stories happen and where the grand majority of characters are introduced. Most of the games are vertical shooting maps where you go through six stages, you have bumps to clear the screen in case things get too crowded, and a focus mode that slows your movement and displays your hitbox to make dodging easier. If you wanna get started with these, there's a few pointers I could give. If you're a complete newcomer to the genre, you can start with some of the easier games out there. In my opinion, that's the 7th entry Perfect Tree Blossom and 10th entry Madden of Faith. Both are very lenient in what they throw at you and very generous with resources to keep you going, plus they don't have any intrusive mechanics you need to play around. You could also start from the 6th entry Embodiment of Scarlet Devil and work your way up. This is the route I personally took when I got into Toho and, at least to me, it just feels better to go in order, as you get to experience the natural evolution of the series and don't miss any of the little references in later titles. The downside is that Toho 6 may need some more intricate setup and keep in mind, if you play on easy difficulty, your run will end before the final stage. I would avoid starting with the 9th and 19th games known as Phantasmagoria games. These play a bit different in that they're one-on-one -on -one versus battles, and I think it's better to have an understanding of the core gameplay before tackling them. The same can be said for the spin-off games, gameplay is quite different, I'd leave them for later. I would also avoid starting with these three in particular if you're a newcomer to the genre, as they are infamous for being the hardest Toho games out there, and you'll probably hate them if this is your first exposure. If you really want to go in true chronological order, you can not start from the very first game on the PC-98. However, Toho 1 to 5 are very primitive in terms of gameplay, and they follow their own self-contained canon that's pretty much non-existent in the later games. It's still a valid choice as I know some people may prefer this, but just keep in mind you're gonna be putting in more work for very little results. The fighting games are another set of spin-off games, as a result of the collaboration between Soon and Circle Tasugari Frontier or Twilight Frontier. These are actually good alternative to start with if that genre is more appealing to you. They are pretty solid games with lots of characters and interactions that can provide a pretty complete introduction to the world of Toho. My personal pick here is Toho 10.5 Scarlet with a Rhapsody to start with, though really all of them are a good choice. The games are all in Japanese, so unless you know the language, you're gonna need some translation patches. Luckily, this has been made very easy nowadays, you can just download Toho patch, select your patches, find your games, and it'll create shortcuts for you to run them in your desired language. There's more detailed instructions in the page you can follow, I promise it's very intuitive. It also contains a guide on how to make Toho 6 not run on Supercrack. All that said, if you're just completely uninterested in playing the games, or just can't really get into them but you still wanna learn about the story and characters, you can go to the page for any of the games on the Toho wiki where you can read all the dialogue present in them, along with summaries of the endings, though I'd still highly recommend experiencing the games themselves in some way. I would also recommend, if you want to learn even more about the characters, that you go to the page on Toho Wiki for your guild of choice, ignore everything, and scroll all the way down to the official profile section. These are actual pieces written by Soon that often have quite a bit of important info that you can't find in the games. Books and manga are an excellent source for Toho lore and background information about the characters, meaning they're also great as a first step into the series. The lore books specifically focus on exactly that and nothing more, featuring articles and interviews written in-universe by the characters themselves, which makes them pretty fun to read. My personal recommendation is starting with Perfect Memento in Strict Sense and Bohemian Archive in Japanese Red, as I think they're basically the cornerstone of Toho lore. If manga's more your style, give Forbidden Scrollery a read. It's a completely standalone manga that gives some nice insight into the workings and ideas of the world of Toho, alongside 
a human perspective of the whole thing. It's episodic in nature and doesn't have an overarching plot, so it's pretty easy to follow. One final recommendation is Curiosities of Lotus Asia. These are a series of short stories that focus on the character of Rinosuke Morichika as he chats with the many customers that visit his shop, Corindo. These are very fun to read and can be a great introduction to some of the characters, as well as various other topics intrinsic to Toho. All the print works that are primarily text-based can be found translated on the Toho wiki, while for the manga you can find translations out there if you look for them. For the most part there's no real order for going through the print works, occasionally they will reference events from the games, but that can actually be a good segue to those games themselves. However, there is a few exceptions to this. Silent Sinner in Blue and Keichi no Dare Grunagate are a manga and novel respectively that expand more of the elements and characters introduced in the 8th game in Perishable Night. So goes without saying, you should know what happens in that game first, and if you can, try to read both the manga and novel in tandem as they are closely related. Symposium of post-mysticism might make more sense once you have some understanding of the world of Toho, particularly the events of Toho 10 through 13 as it involves characters from those games. I think it's better to read it after you've been introduced to them. Finally, these next couple are not places I recommend starting at, but I just want you to be aware of them. Toon's music collection is a series of music albums that, aside from offering some really nice tunes, also contain short stories involving two college students from the real world, Maribel Harn and Renko Usami. It is closely related to Toho as the stories intermingle with the world of Gensokyo, but honestly overall, I'd consider them a separate thing. I wanna note, however, the very first album Dolls in Pseudo Paradise contains a completely standalone story that's unrelated to the rest of the albums. Finally, you can find plenty of translated interviews and comments from soon on the Toko Wiki, which provides some nice insight into the stories, characters, and other topics. They are pretty interesting reads if you want to learn more about the thought process behind Toho. And that's it. That's my crash course on getting started with the series. Was it simple? I don't know. Simplifying Toko is a difficult task. I did skip a bunch of things as, again, these are my recommendations. Whether you go along with them or not is up to you. But nonetheless, I hope they at least serve as guidelines to help out a bit in your journey through the series. I'm gonna leave links in the description to where you can find all of this stuff and more. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments and I'll try to get to them. And if you're already well versed in Toho and you watched this video for some reason, I invite you to leave your own input in the comments if you want. I think it could be helpful as well. As always though, thank you all for watching, consider leaving a like and subscribing to support the channel, and I'll see you next stream.